<laughs> Are we on yet? Oh, we're on. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, well, we've already started. There we go. Welcome to the 17th Annual Column Awards nomination. This is our fifth year, I think, that we have now, or sixth year, that we have done it um, live on the internet. And like last year, this year, thankfully, and we as the board of directors cannot thank enough the Lone Star Webcast Network for helping us out and doing this. We're live from their studio here. So if um, this company is done with production and producer manager Richard Har, so um, all the video you're about to see, all the images behind me, which I have not seen, so they're going to play dirty tricks on me all night long. If you like what you see, and I know you will, they have incredible quality work, and they will help you with all your webcasts, podcasts, and live streaming events, and they are great. I mean, they have brought in a whole new lighting system from last year, and they do a lot of great stuff. So please contact them. Again, that's at, and I'm looking over here because that's where the website's on their little logo thing. It's um, the Lone Star webcast at www.frontiertelevision.com. It's probably streaming right below me, too. Or you can click on our website and let them know that you saw the video on the column, and they will definitely help you with all your great needs. And trust me, you want to work with them because they're great. Richard's great. He's over there. Hi, Richard. Hi, Richard. There he did. Okay. I'm sure you want to know who got nominated. The Voting Academy has voted. And we spent two weeks, and the board and I worked really hard on trying to get all Voting Academy members to vote. And it is their decision. And here are the nominees. And we're going to do it like the Academy Awards. We're going to do the technical awards first and then go into the other stuff so that you stay. <laughs> here we go. For best sound design of a musical equity, the nominees are Bill Akinloff, Hello Dolly, Theater Arlington, Curtis Craig, Creep, Water Tower Theater, Garrett Storms, Mr. Burns, a post-electric play, Stage West. Marcos Salinas, The Fantastics, Theater 3. Matt Kraus, Le Miserable, Casa Manana. Richard Froelich, Hot Mikado, Theater 3. Best Sound Design of a Musical Non-Equity. The nominees are Bill Agenloff, Urinetown, Theater Arlington. Bianca Ber I'm Bergeron, I will be, I'll probably be messing up these names all night long, and I apologize, and I am sober. <laughs> Danica Ber Bergeron, Gray Gardens, Greater Louisville Community Theater. G. Aaron Seiler, The Adams Family, Plaza Theater Company. Kevin Brazil, Company, On Stage in Bedford. Rebecca Lowry, The Drowsy Chaperone, Firehouse Theater. Ryan Brazil, Curtains, Main Stage Irving, Las Colinas. Best Sound Design of a Play Equity. The nominees are Andy Allen, Fix Me Jesus, Theater 3. Killing Voss, Precious Little, Echo Theater. Kelsey Lay, Kurt Irvy, Sexy Laundry, Water Tower Theater. Marco Salinas, Miracle on 34th Street, Dallas Children's Theater. Richard Frolick. The Glass Menagerie, Theater 3. And Richard Froelich, Lovers and Executioners, Circle Theater. The no <laughs> They're taking away my drinkies. The nominees for Best Sound Design of a Play Non-Equity. The nominees are G. Aaron Seiler, Pollyanna, Plaza Theater Company. Jason P. Barris, Kiss and Tell, Plaza Theater Company. Jeff Meisner, the Farnsworth Invention, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. Jo Josiah Halen, The Whale, Lip Service. Kevin Brazil, The Boys Next Door, On Stage in Bedford. And Richard Froelich, The Heiress, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. The nominees for Best Original Scenic Design of a Musical Equity. Adam Coates. Les Mazrab, Casa Manana. Garrett Storms, Nate Davis, Jim Kovac. Mr. Burns, a post electric play, Stage West. Jack Alder, The Country Girls, Theater 3. Jeff Schmidt, Creep, Water Tower Theater. 
Ronnie Dobbs, West Side Story, Garland Silver Musicals, and Scott Osborne, The Fantastics, Theater 3. The nominees for Best Original Scenic Design of a Musical Non-Equity are Alex Cruz, Mary Poppins, Firehouse Theater, Clara DeVries, The Addams Family, Main Stage Irving Las Colinas, G. Aaron Seiler, The Addams Family, Plaza Theater Company, John Damon Sr., Greg Gardens, Greater Louisville Community Theater, Kevin Brown, Company, On Stage in Bedford, and Michelle Harvey, Curtains, Main Stage Irving Las Colinas. Best Original Scenic Design of a Play, Equity. Bruce Richard Coleman, The Glass Menagerie, Theater 3. Claire Derives, All My Sons, Water Tower Theater. Claire Derives, Lovers and Executioners, Circle Theater. Dennis Canwright, Vanya, Sonya, and Marsha and Spike, Stage West. Garrett Storms, Nate Davis, Jacob Marley's Christmas Carol, Stage West. And Michelle Harvey for Picnic, Theater 3. For Best Original Scenic Design of a Play Non-Equity are Claire Gervives, A School Bus Named Desire, Funhouse Theater and Film. Claire Gervives, The Farms Force Invention, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. Danny Machadillo, did I say that right? Machetto, <laughs> Lib Service for the Whale. Jason P. Barris, Kiss and Tell, Plaza Theater Company. Jason P. Barris, Pollyanna, Plaza Theater Company. And Kevin Brown, the boys next, the boys next door, on stage in Bedford. The nominees for Best Lighting Design of a Musical Equity are Jason Foster, Creep, Water Tower Theater. Kyle Harris. Hello Dolly, Theater Arlington. Lisa Miller, Hot Mikado, Plaza uh, Theater 3, sorry. Samuel Russian, Le Miserable, Casa Manana. Scott Davis, Mr. Burns, a post electric play, Stage West. And Susan A. White, West Side Story, Garland Summer Musicals. Best Lighting Design of a Musical Non Equity. The nominees are Cameron Barris. The Adams Family, Plaza Theater Company. Jesse Scott, You're in Town, Theater Arlington. Ken Davis, The Drowsy Chaperone, Firehouse Theater. Sam Nant, Curtains, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. Scott Davis, Falsettos, Runway Theater. Scott Davis, Great Gardens, Greater Lewis Community Theater. I gotta get some water. <laughs> they took my. my The nominees for Best Lighting Design of a Play Equity. The nominees are Jason Foster, All My Sons, Water Tower Theater. Linda Blasse, Miracle on the 34th Street, Dallas Children's Theater. Lisa Miller, The Glass Menagerie, Theater 3. Michael O'Brien, Vanya, Sanya, Sasha, and Masha and Spike, Stage West. Nate Davis, Jacob Marley's Christmas Carol, Stage West and Suzanne Lavender, Picnic, Theater 3. Best Lighting Design of a Play Non-Equity. The nominees are Branson White, The Whale, Lip Service. Cameron Barris, Pollyanna, Plaza Theater Company. Ian Garland, The Farnsworth Invention, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. I almost got that. Jason P. Barris, Kiss and Tell, Plaza Theater Company. Kyle Harris, The Boys Next Door, On Stage in Bedford. And Susan Lavender for Death of a Salesman, Funhouse Theater and Film. The nominees for Best Original Costume Design of a Play Equity are Bruce R. Coleman. <laughs> I want to say, uh, this is my family. We're doing the family feud now. Um, Bruce Coleman for Picnic Theater 3. This is Best Original Costume Design of a Play Equity. Bruce Richard Coleman, The Liar. Theater 3, Derek Whitener, Precious Little, Echo Theater, La Hutchins, Miracle on 34th Street, Dallas Children's Theater, Robin Armstrong, Lovers and Executioners, Circle Theater, and Ryan Matthew Smith for Fix Me Jesus, Theater 3. Best Original Costume Design of a Play Non-Equity. The nominees are 
Bryn Rapp, a school house named Des a school bus named Desire, Funhouse Theater and Film. Janelle Lutz, The Boys Next Door, On Stage in Bedford. Lauren Morgan, Blight Spirit, Stolen Shakespeare Guild. Nita Catenhead, The Whale, Lip Service. Ryan Matthew Smith for Watson, The Last Great Tales of the Legendary Sherlock Holmes, Garland Civic Theater. Tina Barrett, Pollyanna, Plaza Theater Company. Best Original Costume Design of a Musical, Equity, are Bruce Coleman, Hot Mikado Theater 3. Bruce Coleman, The Fantastic Theater 3, Fantastics Theater 3. Derek Whitener and Victor Newman Brockwell, Creek, Water Tower Theater. Derek Whitener, Victor Newman Brockwell, Mr. Burns, a post -electric, electric play, Sage West. Lyle Hutchin, Skippy John Jones, Dallas Children's Theater. And Stephanie Glenn, Hello Dolly, Theater Arlington. Best Original Costume Design of a Musical Non-Equity. The nominees are Ryan Matthew Smith, Urinetown, Theater Arlington. Tina Barris, Shrek, The Musical, Plaza Theater Company. Tina Barris, The Adams Family, Plaza Theater Company. Victor Newman Brockwell, Mary Poppins, Firehouse Theater. Tori Padden, Curtains, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. And Victor Newman Brockwell for the Drowsy Chaperone, Firehouse Theater. The nominees for Best Stage Manager are Branson White, Sesame Ford, Dwight Sandell, Evelyn G. Hall, Christy Scroggins. How many stage managers does it take to screw in a uh, done? <laughs> Sorry, I just saw that. <laughs> oh, uh, best stage manager again are Branson White, Sesame Ford, Dwight Sandell, Evelyn G. Hall, Christy Scroggins, Lindsay Hardsey Bratt, Bait, Bait, <laughs> and Sarah Salazar. The nominees for the Cheetah Rivera Dance Award Mail are Clinton Greenspan for West Side Story, Garland Summer Musicals, David Midkiff, the Adams, oh, it's my family, it's my Kisinera. <laughs> the, the nominees are David Midkiff, The Adams Family, Plaza Theater Company, Joshua Scott, Crazy for You, Garland Summer Musicals, Kawan Lilly, The Drowsy Chaperone, Firehouse Theater, Nathan Scott, for Manda La Mancha, Arts de la Rosa Cent Cultural Center for the Arts, and Stephen Rakes for West Side Story, Garland Summer Musicals. The nominees for Cheetah Rivera Dance Award Female are Beth Lipton, Curtains, Main Stage Irving Las Colinas, Christina Cud oh, I'm so sorry, Cudlick Hoff, Mary Poppins, Firehouse Theater, Eden Barris, The Adams Family, Plaza Theater Company. Jamie Eklund, Curtain, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. Monique Aubrey, West Side Story, Garland Summer Musicals. And Shannon Walsh for Curtains, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. Those are the first set of nominees. And unlike like the Academy Awards, we were diverse in our selections. <laughs> we are going to take a 10 minute break and then we're gonna come back with the rest of the nominees, which of course are acting, directing, choreography, and the big one, best play and best musical. Stay tuned. Welcome back. If you see, you can see that in front of you um, on your screen is the logo for Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. This really is the primary reason why I created this organization and why we've been in existence for over 17 years is because we, my board directors and I, and myself strongly believe in this organization. They are, um, of course, assist people who are living and dealing with HIV, and they help with a lot of services. They also help now with um, breast cancer, and they are well they are well known well known throughout the world, but also definitely through the Broadway community. And because we have donated over a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars, thousand dollars more than any. Um, no other organization that does an awards gala in the United States does that. We are the only ones that do that. And this has gained and helped us achieve um, national recognition with the Broadway community. 
and with many um, national publications. And that is because we strongly believe in this um, organization. And that's why we work so hard as a board so that we can raise as much money as possible to donate to them. And we are very, very proud and very honored to have been with this organization for over 17 years. And this past summer, I went to New York and personally presented our check to the executive director, produce, uh, executive director um, Tom Viola, and his vice president, um, Danny Whitman. And it was a great blast. And they appreciate us. And I know they thank the Dallas Fort Worth Theater community very, very much for this. So please come to the gala so at least you are again donating money to Broadway Cares Equity Fight Days. Because that's why we're here for the Call Wars, is to make raise as much money as possible to donate to them. <clears throat> okay, on to the fun show. This year, our guest star is an incredible, amazing, talented actress, singer, and comedian. I saw her on Broadway in The Drafty Chaperone. She is hysterical. She will be a blast to work with. We actually asked her last year to be our guest star, but she is so much in demand that she wasn't able to. But she said, Please remind me next year and I'll do it. And we've gotten that a lot from a lot of stars and they always, unfortunately, for various reasons, cannot do it. She actually said yes right off the bat. And this, of course, is Tony Award winner Beth Level, who also earned a Tony, also earned a Tony nomination for Baby It's You. Um, currently, she is um, finishing, she just finished doing Bandstand, which is transferring to Broadway. But let's have fun and watch her Tony Award night. Oh my goodness gracious sakes alive. Breathe, breathe. First of all, thank you Bob Martin and Janet Vandergraaff for getting married and having this amazing bachelor party thing that has become our drowsy chaperone. Thank you, life, for the privilege, <laughs> for the privilege of being on the same page as Felicia and Elizabeth and Megan and Carolee. Uh, overwhelmed, overwhelmed. Thank you. <laughs> thank, you. thank you to our producers. Thank you, our creative team. And I must tell my director, my brilliant director, Casey Nicola. Oh, I had to write this down. Thank you for trusting me with this role of a lifetime. Because of your faith in me, my friend, I am flying. Thank you, sister. Thank you, Pat Sullivan, my wrangler. Thank you, Mark Redante and the boys at Bomb and Redante and Shawl. Thank you, John Milne, my husband, I love you. Thank you, TJ and Sam, I love you. And thank you, American Theater Wing for letting this be Lynn and Ruby level in Raleigh, North Carolina. They're the proudest parents on the earth right now. Cheers, darling. I love my job. Thank you. That's who our guest star is. And I've had a few conversations. We've had conversations back and forth already on the phone and an email. And get ready. It's going to be so much fun. Don't forget that we do have the VIP reception where tickets are $50, and you will get to meet and take a photo and get an autograph and have a sweet conversation with Tony Award winner Beth Level. It's going to be a blast, Gayla Knight. You're going to love her. All right, here we go. We are now moving to the next set of categories. The nominees for, Beth, for the Steve Lovett Award for Outstanding New Work by a Local Playwright are Andy Allen. Supermodel, Super Spies, Mortal Compact, Camp Death Productions, Donald Fowler, Creep, Water Tower Theater, Jeff Swear Engine, and Bryn Rapp for a, screen, a school bus named Desire, Funhouse Theater and Film, Casey Leigh Irvy, The Spark, Water Tower Theater, Linda Daughtery, Skippy John Jones, Dallas Children's Theater, and Ronnie Dobbs for the Close Encounters of the Dirk Kind Pocket Sandwich Theater. The nominees for Best Director of a Play Non-Equity are Danny Machetto. Did I say that again? Danny Machetto. I'm sorry, Danny. 
Danny Machero, The Whale, Lip Service. Dennis Canwright, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Theater of North Texas. Harry Friedman, The Farnsworth Invention, Main Stage Irving Las Colinas. Jason P. Barris, Kiss and Tell, Plaza Theater Company. Jeff Swearengine, A School Bus Named Desire, Funhouse Theater and Film. Lon Barrera, The Boys Next Door, On Stage in Bedford. And Stephanie Cabrera, Toon Rooms, Proper Hijinks Productions. The nominees for Best Oh, there it is. <laughs> nominees for Best Director of a Musical Equity are Bruce Coleman, Hot Mikado, Theater 3. Bruce Coleman, The Fantastics, Theater 3. Buff Schur, Crazy for You, Garland Summer Musicals. Garrett Storms, Mr. Burns, A Post-Electric Play, Stage West. Kate Galvin, Creep, Water Tower Theater. And Tim Bennett, Le Miserable, Casa Manana. Best Director of a Musical Non-Equity. The nominees are Ashley H. White, Company, On Stage in Bedford. B.J. Cleveland, Curtains, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. Derek Whitener, The Drowsy Chaperone, Firehouse Theater. G. Aaron Soller, The Adams Family, Plaza Theater Company. Robert Armstrong, She Loves Me, Stolen Shakespeare Guild. And Sharon Velesic, Grey Gardens, Greater Louisville Community Theater. The nominees for Best Director of a Play Equity are B.J. Cleveland, The Liar, Theater 3. Bruce Coleman, Picnic, Theater 3. Bruce Coleman, The Glass Menagerie, Theater 3. Dana Schultz, Red, Stage West. Kelsey Lay Irvy, Precious Little, Echo Theater. Stephen Pounders, Other Desert Cities, Circle Theater. Susan Sargent, Dear Liar, Weenspan Theater. And Terry Martin, Sexy Laundry, Water Tower Theater. Oh, I see it. <laughs> oh, I see it now. Little <laughs> boo boo. On page 30. The nominees for Best Musical Director. There we go. Best Musical Director of. <laughs> Let's try again. Best musical director of a musical equity are Amy Hertz Bozart, Mr. Burns, a post electric play, Stage West, James Cunningham, Le Miserable, Casa Manana. I'm looking at the background, sorry. Kevin Gutner, Creep, Water Tower Theater, Pam Holcomb McLean, The Fantastics, Theater 3, Scott Eckert, West Side Story, Garland Summer Musicals, and Scott Eckert, Avocado, Theater 3. The nominees for Best Musical Director of a Musical Non-Equity are Doug Henry, The Adams Family, Plaza Theater Company, Josh Bradford, Evita, Greater Louisville Community Theater, Kristen Spires, Man of La Mancha, Arts de la Rosa, Cultural Center for the Arts, Rebecca Lowry, Falsettos, Runway Theater. Rebecca Lowry, Mary Poppins, Firehouse Theater. Yeah, you know, I think I said that wrong. Rebecca Lowry, Falsettos, Runway Theater. And Scott Eckert, Curtains, Main Stage, Irving, Las Colinas. We're back at my Kingston era again. <laughs> the nominees for Best Choreographer of a Musical Equity are Garrett Storms and Blair Carzels. Mr. Burns, a post electric. Play, Stage West. Jeremy Dumont. Je uh, sorry. Uh, Jerry Dumont, West Side Story, Garland Summer Musicals. Joseph Jones and Julia Russell Stanley, Crazy for You, Garland Summer Musicals. Kelly McCain, Creep, Water Tower Theater. Kelly McCain, Hot Mikado, Theater 3. And Michael Zarekia and Megan Kelly Bates, for Sweet Charity, Water Tower Theater. Best Choreographer of a Musical Non-Equity. The nominees are Amy Jones, White Christmas, Artists and Center Theater. Becca Brown, You're in Town, Theater Arlington. Brandon Harvey and Christina Kudrick-Hoff, 
Mary Poppins, Firehouse Theater. Kelly McCain, Curtains, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. Larry Barrero, The Producers, Greater Louisville Community Theater. Michael Zarekia, The Adams Family, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. And Tabitha Barris, The Adams Family, Plaza Theater Company. Water break. The nominees for Best Featured Actor in a Play Equity are Blake Hackler, Keen Lear, Trinity Shakespeare Festival, Bradley Campbell, The Liar, Theater. Oh, there's a stripper behind me. Oh, oh my. <laughs> uh, I think David Nevin said here the only thing that I will be remembered for is for his shortcomings. <laughs> Rim shot. Uh, okay, so, no, no laugh? Okay. <laughs> I got the joke. I hope you did. Let's try this again. Best Featured Actor in a Play Equity. The nominees are Blake Hackler, Keen Lear, Trinity Shakespeare Festival, Bradley Campbell, The Liar, Theater 3, Calvin Scott Roberts, Miracle on 34th Street, Dallas Children's Theater, Kyle Lester, Our Town, Stolen Shakespeare Guild, Mark Aristano, for Jackie and Me, Dallas Children's Theater. And Paul Taylor for Miracle on 34th Street, Dallas Children's Theater. Best Featured Actor in a Play Non-Equity. The nominees are Jason P. Barris, Kiss and Tell, Plaza Theater and Company. Jason Leva, The Last Days of Judas Iscariot. Did I say that right? Iscariot? Yes. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it right. Lip Service. Jason Morgus, Morgan, Bly Spirit, Stolen Shakespeare Guild, Mike Hathaway, The Boys Next Door, On Stage in Bedford, Nelson Wilson, The Farnsworth Invention, Main Stage Irving Las Colinas, and Zach Leva for Streamers, Lip Service. The nominees for Best Featured Actress in a Musical Equity are Cheryl Allison for Le Mesdrab, Casa Manana. Oh, Sasheen Littlefeather. <laughs> She's there to accept for Marlon Brando. Remember that from that Oscar year. Again, the nominees for Best Featured Actress in a Musical Equity are Cheryl Allison, Le Miserable, Casa Manana, Delinda Johnson Moravec, Crazy for You, Garland Summer Musicals, Grace Neely, Hot Mikado, Theater 3, Janelle Lutz, Creep, Water Tower Theater, Jill Lightfoot, The Fantastics, Theater 3, Monique Aubrey, West Side Story, Garland Summer Musicals, and Sky Williams for Hot Mikado, Theater 3. Best Featured Actress in a Musical Non-Equity. The nominees are Aliana Cordinez. Probably said that wrong and I apologize. Evita, Greater Louisville Community Theater. Andy Allen, Curtains, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. Ashley Renee Markgraf, Falsettos, Runway Theater. Eden Barris, Shrek, The Musical, Plaza Theater Company. Jamie Eklund, Curtains, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. And Marilyn Satu for Mary Poppins, Firehouse Theater. The nominees for Best Featured Actress in a Play Equity are Cheryl LaBeer, Picnic, Theater 3. Deborah Brown, Miracle on 34th Street, Dallas Children's Theater. Caitlin Moon Jones, All My Sons, Water Tower Theater. Lisa Ann Harum, Picnic, Theater 3. Mary Strauss, Our Town, Stolen Shakespeare Guild. And Sydney Noel Pitts, Fix Me Jesus, Theater 3. So if you win, you can be like um, Sally Field and go, You like me, you really, really like me. The nominees for Best Featured Actress in a Play Non Equity are Jill Etheridge, Lone Star, Lone Star Laundry and Bourbon, Runway Theater. Kelly Norman, The Boy Next Door, On Stage in Bedford. Lindsay Hayward, The Farnsworth Invention, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. Rose Ann Holman, The Last Days of Judas Iscariot, Iscariot sorry, Lip Service. Sco Sony Barris, Kiss and Tell, Plaza Theater Company. And Stephanie Glenn for Bly Spirit, Stolen Shakespeare Guild. The nominees for Best Featured Actor in a Musical Equity are Brian Hathaway for Sweet Charity Water Tower Theater. And there are no acceptance speeches, so you will not be Cuba Juni, Cuba 
Gooding Jr. <laughs> Nominees for Best Featured Actor in a Musical Equity are Brian Hathaway, Sweet Charity, Water Tower Theater, David Coffey, Fiddler on the Roof, Casa Manana, Kyle, I'm sorry, I'm going to mis- say your name probably wrong, Kyle Ignizzi for West Side Story, Garland Summer Musicals, Darius Anthony Robinson for The Hot Mikado, Theater 3, Stan Grainer, Crazy for You, Garland Summer Musicals, and Terry Vanvoort, Vandervoort for The Fantastics, Theater 3. Best Featured Actor in a Musical Non-Equity. The nominees are Billy Betzel, She Loves Me, Stolen Shakespeare Guild, Doug Fowler, The Drowsy Chaperone, Firehouse Theater, Gary Payne, Urinetown, Theater Arlington, Ian Mead Mord, Urinetown, Theater Arlington, Joe Lagrone, The Wizard of Oz, Positive Theater Company, and Matthew Vinson, Falsettos, Runway Theater. The nominees for Best Secret, Best Secret, Best Supporting Actress in a Musical Equity are, what's the, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the Best Supporting Actress in a Musical Equity are Alyssa Gardner, Creep, Water Tower Theater, Amy Mills, Mr. Bills, Mr. Burns, sorry, A Post Electric Play, Stage West, Kara Stratham Serber, Cinderella, The Tale of the Glass Slipper, Casa Manana. Diane Powell, Hello Dolly, Theater Arlington, Natalie Coca, Hot Mikado, Theater 3, and Patty Breckenridge, Creep, Water Tower Theater. Best Supporting Actress in a Musical Non-Equity. The nominees are Ariana Mozova, Curtains, Main Stage Irving Las Colinas, Dakota Ratcliffe, Ratliff, Urinetown, Theater Arlington, Alisa Danielle James, the Drowsy Chaperone, Firehouse Theater. Maggie Kellen, Megan, Megan Kelly Bates, The Adams Family, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. Sarah Shelby Martin, Curtains, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. And Susan Metzger, The Adams Family, Plaza Theater Company. The nominees for Best Supporting Actress in a Play Equity are Allison Petoris, The Glass Menagerie, Theater 3. Amber Devlin, Picnic, Theater 3. Becca Brown, Charlotte's Web, Casa Manana. Cindy Mayfield, for Other Desert Cities, Circle Theater. Jean Ray Price, Fix Me Jesus, Theater 3. Rose Ann Holman, for Our Town, Stolen, Stolen Shakespeare Guild. The nominees for Best Supporting Actress in a Play Non-Equity are Amy Cave, The Whale, Lip Service. Beth Lipton, Enchanted April, Denton Community Theater. Jill Etheridge, The Heiress, Main Stage Irving Las Colinas. Kim, what, oh, sorry, Kim Winburst, The Boys Next Door, On Stage in Bedford. Mona Lisa Amadar, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Theater of North Texas. And Taylor Donaldson, The Whale, Lip Service. Break. Water, not vodka. <laughs> the nominees for Best Actor in a Play Non-Equity are Jack Nicholson for Look at Me, I Am So Quiet and Shy. <laughs> no. The nominees for Best Actor in a Play Non-Equity are Ben Phillips, The Understudy, Greater Louisville Community Theater. Cameron Barris, Kiss and Tell, Plaza Theater and Company. Jason Leva, The Whale, Lip Service. Jeff Burleson, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Theater of North Texas. Jeff Swear Engine, Death of a Salesman, Funhouse Theater and Film. Nick Haley, The Boys Next Door, On Stage in Bedford. And Stan Grainer, Blight Spirit, Stolen Shakespeare Guild. Oh, I skipped. I skipped. I skipped. Best Supporting Actor in a Musical Equity. The nominees are Daniel Rowan, Creep, Water Tower Theater. David Lugo, Skippy John Jones, Dallas Children's Theater. Henry Greenberg, Mr. Burns, A Post-Electric Play, Stage West. 
Jackie Kemp, The Fantastics, Theater 3. Major Attaway for Hot Mikado, Theater 3. Major Attaway, Le Miserable, Casa Manana. Best Supporting Actor in a Musical Non-Equity. The nominees are Ben Phillips, Falsettos, Runway Theater. Clyde Berry, Shrek, The Musical, Plaza Theater Company. David Tini for The Producers, Greater Louisville Community Theater. G. Aaron Seiler, The Adams Family, Plaza Theater Company. Greg Hullett, Company, On Stage in Bradford. Lon Barrera, Curtains, Main Stage Irving, Las Colinas. And Neil Rogers for Oklahoma, Stolen Shakespeare Guild. Best Supporting Actor in a Play, Equity. The nominees are David Coffey, My Name is Asher Leave, Circle Theater. Halston Mann for Vanya and Sonya and Masha and Spike Stitch West. John S. Davies for Other Desert Cities, Circle Theater. Nate Davis, Red, Sage West. Randy Perlman, The Heir Apparent, Sage West. Shane Strawbridge, Lovers and Executioners, Circle Theater. And Sterling Gafford for The Glass Menagerie, Theater 3. Best Supporting Actor in a Play, Non-Equity. The nominees are Jason P. Barris for The Nerd, Plaza Theater Company. Jay Lewis, Kiss and Tell, Plaza Theater Company. Pat Watson, Streamers, Lip Service. Peter, I'm sorry, Peter, I always say your last name wrong. Peter Dishazari, I'm so sorry, Peter. A Flea in Her Ear, Main Stage Irving, Las Colinas. R. Andrew Aguilar, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Theater of North Texas. And Travis Pondolinski, Travis, I owe you a drink for that one, I'm sorry. The Boys Next Door, On Stage in Bedford. DeJesere. Oh, the, uh, Peter DeJesere. Now I got the name right. Thank you. Okay. Best Actor in a Musical Equity. The nominees are David Lugo, The Fantastics, Theater 3. Ian Ferguson, Mr. Burns, A Post Electric Play, Stage West. Jonathan Bragg, Creep, Water Tower Theater. Max Swarner, West Side Story, Garland Cinema Musical. Michael Hunsacker, Le Miserable, Casa Manana. And Paul Taylor for Mr. Burns, a post electric play, Stage West. Best Actor in a Musical Non Equity. The nominees are Aaron C. White, Company, On Stage in Bedford. Aaron Lett, The Adams Family, Plaza Theater Company. Chris Ramirez, Oklahoma, Stolen Shakespeare Guild. Corey Whaley, Curtains, Main Stage, Irving, Las Colinas. Keith J. Warren, Evita, Greater Louisville Community Theater. Lon Barrera, The Drazi Chaperone, Firehouse Theater. Mario Antonio Guerrera, from Man La Mancha, Arts de la Rosa Cultural Center for the Arts. And Tim Bronner, for Urinetown, Theater Arlington. Best Actor in a Play, Equity. The nominees are... Blake Blair, The Glass Menagerie, Theater 3. Bob Hess, Sexy Laundry, Water Tower Theater. David Coffey, Keen Lear, Stolen Shakespeare, I mean, Trinity Shakespeare Festival. Halston Mann, Picnic, Theater 3. Steve Pounders, Vanya and Sonya and Masha and Spike, Stage West. Terry Martin, All My Sons, Water Tower Theater. Best Actor in a Play, Non-Equity. Now we're back on track. Best Actor in a Play Not Equity. The nominees are Ben Phillips, The Understudy, Greater Louisville Community Theater, Cameron Barris, Kiss and Tell, Plaza Theater Company, Jason Leva, The Whale, Lip Service, Jeff Burleson, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Theater of North Texas, Jeff Swearingen, Death of a Salesman, Fun House Theater and Film, Nick Haley, The Boys Next Door, On Stage in Bedford, and Stan Grainer, Bly Spirit, Stolen Shakespeare Guild. Best Actress in a Musical Equity. The nominees are Meryl Streep for The Devil Wears Prada. <laughs> That's all. Okay, if you didn't see the movie, you didn't get the joke. 
Best actress in a musical best actress in a musical equity. The nominees are Caroline Dubberly, Mr. Burns, a post electric play, Stage West. Denise Lee, Hot Mikado, Theater Three. Morgan Mabry, Fancy Nancy, The Musical, Dallas Children's Theater. Princess Ann Forrester, Hello Dolly, Theater Arlington. Sarah Elizabeth Smith, Crete, Water Tower Theater. And Stephanie Riggs for Crazy for You, Garland Summer Musical. The nominees for Best Actress in a Musical Non Equity are Caroline Rivera for Great Gardens, Greater Louisville Community Theater. Darren Cockrell, Curtains, Main Stage Irving, Las Colinas. Janelle Lutz, The Drowsy Chaperone, Firehouse Theater. Rebecca Page, Evita, Greater Louisville Community Theater. Stephanie Felton, Falsettos, Runway Theater. And Tap of the Bearers for Lev Mezrab, Greater Cleburne Carnegie Players. The nominees for Best Actress in a Play Equity are Connie Coit, The Glass Menagerie, Theater 3. Emily Scott Banks for Jacob Marley's Christmas Carol, Stage West. Janelle Lutz, Miracle on 34th Street, Dallas Children's Theater. Sherry Jo Ward, Precious Little, Echo Theater. Wendy Welch, Sexy's Laundry, Water Tower Theater. Wendy Welch, Vanya, Sonya, and Sasha, Sa Vanya, and Sonya, and Masha, and Spike, Sage West. Best Actress in a Play Not Equity. The nominees are Alexandria Lawrence, The Heiress, Main Stage Irving, Las Colinas. Emma Colwell, Kiss and Tell, Plaza Theater Company. Laura Jones, Black Spirit, Stolen Shakespeare Guild. Leslie Boren, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Theater of North Texas. Lindsay Hayward, A Flea in Her Ear, Main Stage Irving Las Colinas. Lindsay Hale, The Last Days of Judas Scarlet Lip Service. I have assistance off stage. <laughs> One more drink. Here we go, the final big nominees. The nominees for best play, non-equity this season are, what is that? Oh, it's a broken set. <laughs> that won't happen to us, I promise. The nominees for best play, non-equity are, A School Bus Named Desire, Fun House Theater and Film, Blight Spirit, Stolen Shakespeare Guild, Kiss and Tell, Plaza Theater Company, the Boys Next Door, On Stage in Bedford. The Farnsworth Invention, Main Stage, Irving Las Colinas. The Whale, Lip Service. And Two Rooms, Proper Hijinks Productions. The nominees for Best Play Equity are All My Sons, Water Tower Theater. Lovers and Executioners, Circle Theater. Miracle on 34th Street, Dallas Children's Theater. Picnic, Theater 3. The Glass Menagerie, Theater 3. Vanya and Sonya and Masha and Spike, Stage West. The nominees for Best Musical Non-Equity this year are Company, On Stage in Bedford. Curtains, Main Stage Irving, Las Colinas. Evita, Greater Louisville Community Theater. Le Miserable, Greater Cleburne Carnaby Players, Mary Poppins, Firehouse Theater, She Loves Me, Stolen Shakespeare Guild, The Adams Family, Plaza Theater Company, and Urinetown, Theater Arlington. The nominees for Best Musical Equity this year are Creep, Water Tower Theater, Hot Mikado, Theater 3, Le Miserable, Casa Manana. Mr. Bones, Mr. Bristol Burns, a post electric play, Stage West. The Fantastics, Theater 3, and West Side Story, Garland Summer Musical. Congratulations to all of this year's nominees. If your show was picked, uh, nominated for Best Musical, Equity, Non Equity, you'll be getting an email in the next 48 hours to your director 
artistic director, um, choreographer, and musical director about performing at the gala. To keep the numbers down, we will take those that will immediately submit their request to perform at the gala. So please turn in that information as soon as possible. Also, tomorrow night at Katie's Studios at 7.30 p.m., we will hold auditions for our opening number for the gala this year, choreographed by Michael Anthony Sylvester. It is a disco-infused number. You will love it. It's dance, dance, dance. So um, please be there at, at 7.30. Open call. No appointments needed. And it's at 7.30 tomorrow, Monday, at the KD Studios. And you can find that information on the column minute that will be sent out later tonight or tomorrow morning. So uh, please join us all. But before we end, I'm sure you're wondering, who helps each year at the gala? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want you because to meet, because I usually stay hidden in the darkness. Please come aboard and come aboard. Please enjoy and welcome my board. <laughs> Here they are. They're all getting up. They're all getting ready. Yeah, you go. And we're getting ready. We're getting ready. We're getting ready. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I really think that you needed to meet my board of directors. This got this gala over the last 17 years has gotten bigger and bigger and so much complex work and production takes in creating that night that you attend each night. And it does not take a village, it takes a city. And these are my board of directors and these people work so, so hard to make that night so special for you. So if you see these people and you see them all, some of them have been on COP, ignore that part. <laughs> they were, I wasn't there, I don't know what happened. But if you see them, thank them for all their hard work because if it wasn't for these guys, trust me, this gala, and girl, and girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was so unprofessional, so unprofessional. Um, but seriously, if it wasn't for these guys, this gala would not exist, ladies. So if you see them, thank them because they do so much hard work. You won't believe the work they do. They have day jobs. They're all involved in the theater as well. And they have to juggle so much. So when you see them, give them a hug and give them a thank you. Because honestly, if it wasn't for them, that gala would not exist. So on behalf of my wonderful board of directors, we will see you. Sunday, February 21st, with Tony Award winner Beth Level at the 17th Annual Column Awards. Now, board of directors, let's all wave bye. Well, children, <laughs> 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 <laughs>